-hmm. We're going to find out today how interior designer Glenn Peloso does his spring cleaning. Because <laughs> I'm pretty impressed that everything is color coordinated. Of course it would be. Well, you want, I mean, you want, you want to be able to open that cleaning cupboard and go, well, that looks good. And your cleaning cupboard must be pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> like, I'm it's like, funny. wow, everything's gray. I'm like, mine is like a mishmash of whatever was on sale. <laughs> I have a sister-in-law who sometimes drops over and she'll open drawers in my house to sort of show other people and say, this is the junk drawer. Like, this is what the junk drawer looks like. <laughs> oh, you got to bring all pictures the time. next time. Got to bring it's pictures. So, it's so organized. Okay, but let's yeah, start so, off with like a really organized floor clean. Right. So part of the idea of this is to is spring cleaning, but also to make it not so daunting. Like it doesn't have to be this huge, awful task. So this this is something by a company called Tapco, uh, and it's called the RV30 Plus. And what it <laughs> I know it all has this fun name, but it, but it's essentially a, a, a robot vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. So and and what's kind of cool about it is it's both a vacuum cleaner and a floor cleaner. So sometimes you have to get one or the other. Other, or run two different, like one that does vacuuming, one that does mopping. And hope they don't collide on That's the floor. Right. Well, okay. you're supposed to yeah. shine them out. But yes. this does the, both of them at the same time. So it'll run for about three hours. It has a slightly larger capacity. So every okay. time it goes to vacuum the house, it comes back, takes whatever it's collected, drumps it into there, so the next time you send it out again, it's, it starts fresh. It'll run for about three hours, which okay. is, so you can do a really good size house, okay. and then you program it. So you basically just run it from your phone. So you're going to say, you know, we just had dinner, go and clean the dining room and clean the kitchen, and then go back to bed, go mm -hmm. back to your yeah. Screen. Or clean the whole house, like if you have cats, some people I know have cats. Yes, we have uh, cats. Right, so then you could say, please clean the whole house. And maybe you, at some times of the year, you're like, could you please clean the whole house four or five times a day? Because you have, I know. Um, <laughs> but but I want to show, because I'm going to lift this up here. Yeah. So, it, so it's got like a little pad there so that it, as it cleans, so as it washes, it kind of dries it off. Well, so it's vacuumed, the, it, the vacuum yeah. into here, and then it mops the floor. And then it takes a second to dry after, like, it'll dry on its own, the floor. And do you have to use, like, a special cleaner for that? No, you use no? whatever solution that you would okay. normally use to clean the floor. You just add it into there, and it will it, it will clean the floor. And okay. then there's some replacement pads, so after it's finished doing that a couple of times, you want to throw that in the laundry and put a new one on and then trade them out like okay. that. Right. All right. So this so, one, so it empties it empties the dust and stuff in here, correct. but does it empty the water as well? You've got to do that. You've got to do that. You've got do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Some things you got to do. It can't be totally. Thin. I love these things. These are fantastic. They're originally called Swedish claws, and mm -hmm. they're so I use them all the time in the house for a couple of reasons. One, it's cellulose and it's cotton. So after you've used it four or five times, you can sometimes or, or many, 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 many times. times. Yeah. You can throw them in. So often we throw them in the dishwasher at the end of the night because you wake up in the morning and they're sort of dried out mm -hmm. again and ready to use. Yep. You can put them in the laundry and you can launder them four or five or six times before you have to. They start to look a little dirty. Uh, and then when you're finished, you throw them in the green bin. In the composter, yeah. Because they're completely compostable, uh, and then you just get some more. They're, so that's to replace like paper towels. I know I use them whenever we, because we have a lot of fur balls at our house. Right. Because the vacuum cleaner doesn't get everything. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but yeah, I, I use them just to kind of like scoop that up. Put that in yeah. the yeah, and they they clean up really well. You could just you know wash them in the sink and then hang them over to dry. Like they last a really long time. Okay. They look really good, and then you're not just sort of throwing something in the garbage. A B, you don't end up with this you know washcloth that's been there for five okay. years and looks terrible. Microfiber cloth, really really handy. Right. So this happens sort of because you know people would sort of say when you're going to clean the windows, just get some you know get some newspaper and some vinegar and water and make that work. And I'm like, where do I get a newspaper? Like exactly, that's not so popular anymore. So these work really really well. So what what uh, uh, good window cleaners will tell you to do is get some hot water with a little bit of laundry, not laundry soap, a little bit of dish soap, mm -hmm. sort of as hot as you can take it, and then wash the window with one that's wet and dry it with one that's dry. Yep. And it cleans it up perfectly, you, and then you just throw these in the laundry and you've got them yeah. to use again. Yep. These last a really, really, really long time. You don't have to worry about them. Okay, we've um, got about a minute left. Okay. This is, I mean, I like this stuff because it, because it just smells nice. Yes, I don't, so yeah. it's, it's a really it's nice thing. It's not overpowering. It's, it's, it can have a bunch of different scents. You could pick ones that you like. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, the, the uh, Scrub Buddy, I think it's called, it works really well because it feels really hard, like it's going to be awful, but you can sort of scrub it into anything. It okay. really doesn't scratch anything, and that makes it sort of great. Uh, often people worry about, like, what do I do about replacing paint or there's some dirt on things. These work spectacularly mm -hmm. well off of vinyl, like yep. car things. They work really, really well in terms of cleaning. This has been unbelievably crazily popular on TikTok, I think it is, where you, and it's just basically it's a, a little steam cleaner. Steamer, yeah. Uh, and they've been around for a while, but now all of a sudden, I don't know, everybody under 30 discovered them. Um, and I'm like, <laughs> and wow. And it's fun yeah. to clean. <laughs> yeah, it makes it sort of fun to clean. Uh, so they they work really well, but they're also great with, uh, if you get a little something on the the upholstery, 
it, a little bit of steam is really helpful in terms of cleaning that stuff okay. out. Okay, all right, we've got 20 seconds. So, and last but not least is, you know, all of this cord management stuff, people are like, well, what do I get, what do I get? I'm like, just get little pieces of, uh, of um, okay. you, that you use in the garden. There They're we really go. just wrap them up and it keeps everything perfect. This is how nice. an interior designer does a spring cleaning. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> yes. <laughs>